Yes. Uh, my name is Kainda Usama. I'm a V3 of RoyalQ. Uh, I'm an advanced broker of RoyalQ. You know, the word broker here in Uganda, uh, people misuse it so much. But uh, on the international level, it's a very important profession. Uh, people who are brokers, they make a lot of money. <laughs> they live the best lifestyle. So I want you to see it in, on an international scene, eh? not a Ugandan one. Anyway, our training today is going to be very serious. Let me tell you, my dear friends, when you want to master anything, attend trainings. When you want to be the best musician, you must be so much in trainings. When you want to be the best dancer, you must be in trainings. When you want to be the best, the best footballer, same things. Now, people want to build networks, people want to build organizations, but still they don't want to attend trainings. And the question is, how are these people really going to make it? You, you get the point. You ask yourself, how are they really going to make it? And, um, uh, and the answer is, attend the morning trainings, because this is the only training uh, where you're going to get skills of how building a network of yourself, which is going to pay you even if you're not working. Let me tell you about building networks. It is a, one of the most beautiful ways of building wealth. Do you know why? Time is going to come when you are not working. You're not working, but the money is coming. You get the point. And um, that only happens when you have built a network and a very good network of people who know what to do. And today we are going to teach you how to teach your team. Okay? So uh, uh, always be in class, learn something, back of your ego every time, because someday you are going to have a team of people and you are the one who's going to be teaching them every time. Okay? People, let me tell you something. There is a book called How to Win Friends and Influence People. Uh, read that book. I have it in my shelf here. I would have showed you how, to, how, how it looks like. It's a very good book. The gentleman said that in this world, one of the most valuable, um, one of the most valuable riches, let me, let, me, let, me, let me relate it to maybe gold and diamonds and all that stuff, are human beings. Why? Humans, or people, they are going to take you somewhere. Why do I want you to build networks? As you're building your network, you're going to find teachers, you're going to find doctors, you're going to find um, uh, government officials, you're going to find people who are really connected, or people who are doing some things. You're going to find bakers. You know, when you build a network and you have a party, you don't get stressed who's going to do the cake for you. You already have people who do cakes. If you want Uber, you already have someone who's driving Uber. You want something, you want someone who's a builder, you already have someone in your network who's, who's doing that stuff. So it keeps you connected. It makes your life easy. Guys, build the networks and build them for real. Not for just maybe Roy Q. Keep, keep the friendship for long term. One day your children are going to marry the other person's children. You get the point. One day you're going to have a party and these are the people who are going to attend it and make it colorful. One day you are going to be sick. These are the people who are going to be on your bedside. So build networks genuinely. When someone comes into your business, work with them very well and uh, 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 respect them, give them a chance, give them the, the, the resources of trainings to make them learn these things. Today I was watching a video of one of the richest guys in cryptocurrency here in Uganda. It's called Festo. I have never met him and I had not seen him, but I was hearing about him. I had never seen how he looks like. He's a young man, by the way. These are the guys who knew about cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, years back. And they never took it for granted. He invested some money. He learned it. That guy is knowledgeable about crypto so much. You get the point. He's very, very informed about crypto. He's so rich, very rich guy. Because if you are in Uganda here and you are driving electric cars, man, you are super rich. 
which garage where do you, where you can take your electric car here in uganda do you know anyone do you know any me i don't know because i don't drive electric car imagine someone driving an electric car in uganda electric cars muzimani yeah? these are cars which don't which don't take fuel you charge them like your phone someone to that level they are super rich why are they rich they never took this opportunity for granted crypto he bought bitcoin when when it was at 0.1 dollar you get the point today people are, are trading crypto with royal cuba they they are they don't know anything they, they they are even not yet mastered the art of putting a trade they are still on that level imagine someone is one month in the business nainga tamani how to put a trade how are you going to learn the other stuff do you know that china is bringing up its coins china is opening up to cryptocurrency as america is trying to regulate and chase away crypto china is embracing it the question is where is the world market now is it in america is it in china do you know those things yeah how will you know them when you are offline the whole day <laughs> because we are so busy at our jobs imagine jobs unless you are self employed a job which is not yours one day you will not be there these are the information you, which is going to help you in the years to come okay learn about this stuff there's a lot of opportunities have you heard about holding buying a coin you leave it there for years it grows in value in 2021 people bought a coin called shib even if you had invested a dollar you would get out 9000 dollars it's a long term do you know about it i want i want us to use royal q as an opportunity or a gateway to the crypto world let us learn things about crypto here let us learn about a lot of things about building networks build a team work with them okay let's go to our chapter so my point is don't sleep before learning anything about crypto the way like every day before learning anything about crypto even if you say to the, the whole of this month i'm going to be learning about it i don't want any option on my application which i don't know what it means that's a progress because everything on royal q app is about crypto asset binding revenue details reward details invite invite friend the link everything is about crypto do you know all those options what they mean so take time and learn this stuff right okay now we are going to we are going to proceed with our book um this book is very important i don't know some people are new to this class let me share it in the in, in the group this book we are reading this book it's called own your life okay this book is called own your life what does own your life mean owning a life means you are doing things you want in the right time you want them mm -hmm. Are you getting the point? I want you to imagine when you on this level where you are buying, you can buy anything. You enter a restaurant, you eat what you what you want, not what you can afford. It. People who go in a restaurant, they ask for a menu. Sometimes they want to see where their money can, what their money can buy. But there are people who enter a restaurant, they're like, okay, I want fish. Put some greens, put some atoke. I need this, I need this and this. They don't care how much is it. Because they're pretty sure, <laughs> they're pretty sure the whole buffet want to be above 50K. They eat it. And then there are these people who are like, give me the menu. Okay, give me beans. 
They want meat, they want fish, but they're eating beans. Now, that's an example. You get it? You go into the bond. You don't buy what you want. You buy what you can afford. You come out with your, uh, with your pro box. But in, in deep in your heart, you want a BMW. You love BMWs. You love a Woody. Same one. I call it a pro box. So we want to own our life so that we buy things we want. Katrina Zimbabwe, we have to build that lifestyle. Come on a silver plate, let me tell you, friends. So we are we are proceeding and um, we are on a certain chain going back to school, going back to, to school. Going back to school, why did he name this chapter this with this subtopic? What does going back to school mean? All of us, we have studied, we have been at school some days. We went to nursery, baby class, primary, secondary level. We, we, we went to university. How many are those? The uh, nursery, nursery school, those are three years. Eh? Some people took three years, others two. But let's take it a standard time. Three years, baby, middle, top. Primary, seven years, from P1 to P7. Those are 10 years now. High school, six. Those are 16 years. University, how many? Three, six. You get it? Mm -hmm. So 16 plus three or plus four, those are 20 years. The question is, after studying 20 years, how much money are you making in your profession per year? After studying 20 years, by the way, there's something that I, I realized. I'm not discouraging anyone, but I'm talking about reality. Did you realize that some of the guys who dropped off school, senior three, senior four, senior two, they started, uh, they, they started other businesses, maybe in Chukubo, they, they, like they started doing entrepreneurship, buying and selling. By the time we are done with the universities, these guys were too far. Do you know why? They were doing things practical. They go and buy and come and sell. They found out where, what customers need. Then they realize where they are buying, the prices are higher. So they look for a, another place where they can buy at a cheaper price. Okay? Then they, then they realize later if they go to China and buy from there and ship these things, they can make more profits. So by the time for you are done with the university, this guy is <laughs> this guy is shipping stuff from China. They are too, too far. Now, for you, a professional, whatever, you get employed. You get the point. You get employed, you're working somewhere, and the money you are making is in the place. I, 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 am I communicating with someone? So now they are telling us going back to school. What does this mean? Learn again, okay? Learning again. Your attitude can make a big difference when you are trying to sponsor a new distributor. Most distributors seem to have their attitude. What can I get into my business? I think the proper attitude is to whom will I next offer the opportunity to retire? If you believe a person could retire in one to three years and you understood how to present this, this possibility in a presentation that takes only two minutes, why would you want to give this opportunity to a stranger? He says that your attitude, yesterday we looked at attitude levels. Now, today we are going to look at attitude. Your attitude can make a big difference when you are trying to sponsor a new distributor. Sponsoring means teaching, mentoring this new person into the business. So your attitude is very important. You get the point. He says that to be able to retire 
it, it says that when someone joins the business as a new person, their mentality is telling them, who can I get it to my business? That's what they are telling their mind. However, the proper attitude would be, to whom will I next offer the opportunity to retire? To whom will I next offer my royal opportunity to retire? Let me tell you something. Let me give you this example of a guy called Julius Karanda. Julius, in 2021, we are still under lockdown here in Uganda. He, uh, Kampala was, was really tough for him. He was working in Kampala. Things were, were not moving on well. He went straight back home in Masaka. Then I was he, as he was there, doing nothing. You know, we were in lockdown. Most people were not working actually. A friend called him. Hey, Julius, there is an opportunity here. I would like to meet you and we discuss it. He was like, for me, I'm in, I'm in Masaka. So if you want anything, explain on the phone. Because like, no way, I want to meet you. But don't worry, I'm going, to, I'm going to pay for the fees, for the transport fees. So the guy boarded to Kampala, they met, he discussed RayQ business to him. Kavana was so excited about this program because he was even doing nothing. He was like, what if I do this? Since it's an online business, let me do it as I'm home. You never know. But he hadn't, he didn't have the money to start. So when they explained the stuff, it was like, wow, this is a great opportunity. By then, RayQ was $100 to activate, just 100 Today it's 120. We don't know next year it might be 150. <laughs> so he had only eight or five dollars. Eight or five dollars. He told them, you know what's up? Hey, I only have this money and I'm going to leave it with you. Let me withdraw it on mobile money. I give it to you. I want to go back to my Osaka when my robot is activated. For me, I'm ready to work. So he went back home. The guys topped up, of course, went back when the robot was activated, binded, and all the stuff explained on the real robot. The guy went back home, he went on YouTube, he learned more. He started doing Zooms right away, Zoom presentations, explaining Rayuq as if he has made a million dollars out of it. Kumbe has made nothing. First learned. He first went on YouTube, he learned this stuff, how to operate it and all, it, all that stuff. Today, Kahanda Julius has made over 95,000 US dollars. That's like 350 million Ugandan shillings. Since 2021 up to date. The question is, let us look at the guy who invited him to see this program. Let's look at him. So as you are offering an opportunity to someone, you never know they can do it aggressively than you. You are offering them an opportunity. However, some people take it for granted, others take it serious. And that's not your responsibility. Your responsibility is to show it to them. Have you seen people who come and see rich people? Mostly family members. Let's assume you're a very rich man in your family. And of course, everyone is seeking, is seeking uh, uh, help from you. Some people come to ask for food, but some relatives come to ask for capital. Because some of them will be like, hey, you know, my children are not going to school. I, I need help for sure. In your head, you are like, now, what if I give you help today? What about tomorrow? But this person is not seeing that. that. He is looking at the, at the current situation. You give him money. He goes, and then there's this guy who comes like, hey, brother, how are you doing? I'm very sorry. I don't like to, to really come in this image of seeking help, but for sure I need your help. I have this, but it's collapsing, and I need your backup. Okay? Um, uh, 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 if you brief can help me, just five millions, and I back up my books, I'll pay that money back. And you're like, you know, <laughs> as a family member who's rich, 
lending money to, to family members, it's also another problem. So I like, you know what's up? Since you're a very hardworking man, I've known you for some time, I'm going to give you 3.5 million, just giving you, not lending. Use it and boost your business. The guy goes with 3.5 million and boosts his business. He works his ass his off. You know, have you ever seen someone working really hard? Waking up early, early in the morning, sleeping very late, every time busy, like they are really working. The guy goes back, uses the money very well. In three to five to 10 years, this guy now is the, another rich guy in the family. How would you feel when you were the one who offered the people to five million? Is that a lot of money? Is that a lot of money? Of course not. But it's something someone used to grow. So when you give this opportunity to people, some will take it serious, others won't. That's not your responsibility. I want you to look at the bigger picture. What if you show this opportunity to someone and they take it serious? Because Royal Kid is a lot of money. And there's a lot of money. So as you are doing your business, you might say to would be, whom should I offer my opportunity to? If you believe a person could retire in, in one to three years and you understand and you understood how to present this possibility in a presentation, that only takes two minutes. Why would you want to give this opportunity to the stranger? If you really believe when someone does RQ for three years, they have a possibility of making over five millions to six millions a month because that money in Uganda is a very rich man. Because with six, with six millions, that means in, the, in a year you make 70 M. Someone who makes 70 M, they can build a home, they can drive. You get the point. They can really do a lot of stuff. They can do farming, they can really invest. You get the point. And there's a possibility of someone making more than that. Someone can be making over 10 M a month. In three years of building this business, the question is, why would you want to offer that opportunity to a stranger? To be able to retire in one to three years at better than uh, at better than 50,000 per year, the person must be willing to go back to school. If you want to make this money in Royal Queen, you must be willing to go back to school. It's not going to come on a silver plate. I'm telling you. Be willing to go back to, to school. What do we mean by this? They can learn everything they would need to know by investing, by investigating five to 10 hours per week, by investigating five to 10 hours per week, I think it's investing, by investing five to 10 hours per week for six months. Retiring means simply not going to work unless you want to. If, you, if someone tells you they will give it 30 days to see how it goes, don't waste your time. You can't dig your foundation in 30 days. It takes at least six months. Now, let me tell you something. Network builders, organization builders, if you want to build an organization in Royal you work with serious people. If you, if you talk to someone, they tell you they would like to be part of your program, but they want to try it for one month. Don't waste your time with them. I've not seen any business built in a month. Even if you are selling cocaine, you must build an empire for years. <laughs> you get the point. Someone tells you, can you can't show time on which call, which now then I will stand we do it. Tell them don't don't back. <coughs> Stand trading. Get capital trade. Don't waste time in team building if you're going to do it for 30 days. They must be willing to give it a at least six, six months and of learning. <coughs> the only difference here is when you are learning in crypto, you learn as you earn because we are, we are not learning notes. We are learning things, we go back and practice. When we teach you some things here, we want you to go back and practice them. It's not like the style of learning we had in our school time. You see, the teacher comes, he teaches things, he is even not practicing. Someone is teaching economics, but is a very poor man. That's not what we are learning. 
You get the point. Someone is teaching commerce, but he has no business. He's not, have, he's not having any business out there, but he's teaching us commerce. That's not the school we are in. Now, the school we are in here is different. When I come and teach you how to prospect, I'm doing it myself. And I'm teaching how to withdraw. It is, it is because I did it withdraw in the morning. I know how this money feels. You get the point? When a leader comes and teaches you about trunks, he has a rank. When a leader comes to teach you how he builds a team, it's because he has it. The school I am offering to is a school of involvement. From the time you leave your home for your weekly training session, attend the meeting, have coffee, drive home, you have already spent three, five, three to five hours. The rest of the time is spent listening to positive motivational tips. Of course, we don't have tips at the moment. Audios. <laughs> Audios about your programs, meeting with your sponsor, attending scissor sessions, talking to prospects, etc. This can all be done along with anything else you have been doing outside of LM, outside of MLM, outside of network marketing. The school I'm offering to you is a school of involvement. As I told you, it's a school of practice. You do things practical. You get the point. You are attending trainings, you are attending sessions, we are attending meetings. On Saturday, we are going to have a super duper present. We are going to have a super duper event, a crypto event of all Royalty family in Uganda. We are going to meet at Coach Hotel, Kampala Road, opposite CPS, in the noon. At 12 p.m., we are starting. Be there as a person. Come and experience what people are really doing in the business. You get the point. So with that way, you can really build a very serious business. And your business very aggressively. Like when, when someone wants to build their organization, they must be willing to sacrifice time and invest time in these things. Attend trainings. Now, let me recommend, let me talk about listening to audios. Did you realize? Um, when you listen to a lot of negative vibes every day, there is a way your month or day or week goes bad. You see these people who listen a lot of to, okay, let me answer. You see these people who listen to a lot of radio programs with negative stories. Those stories, eh? In Uganda, they call it those stories. I, my man, I, I got married and this, and my man died, and my family is bad, and they are really. Then tomorrow, another story. Then the other day, all the stories are negative. I got, I had the twins, one of them died, and my grandfather told me that another story. He spends his months listening to that stuff. That person's mindset is so bad in most cases. Change it to positivity. Listen to audios which are inspiring. Listen to someone who worked very hard he bought a new home. Listen to someone who worked very hard he helped his child to learn and study up to university. Why do you listen to negative ones? So audios which are positive, then the way they impact your way of working. Now you are into Royal Q. All of your energy, put it into crypto. Listen to crypto stuff, listen to positive energy, listen, to, watch videos which are positive, have negative energy, have that car you really love to, be, to, to drive, put it on your paper, like be positive in your life. Forget the negativity. As you are doing activity, when you are trading a coin cover, do you know why cover went up? Research about it, go on Twitter and read about it. Go on Google. Why is this coin called CFX? Why is this coin called it Atom? You are in crypto, but Atom, you don't know whether this is the chemical stuff we learned in chemistry. <laughs> what was it? Physics, chemistry, whatever. You get the point. Learn about it. Learn about it. Spend your time. Re relate your energy 
to things of crypto and where you are doing. While you're doing seminars, I've asked this question all across the US and Canada. Does anyone know of a four-year college course where you would graduate, where you could graduate, then hope to retire in one to three years at better, at better than 50,000 per year? I have never had a college course where that is even possibility. This one is exciting about network marketing. You can actually learn in six months everything you need to know to retire in one to three years. He says that as he has been doing these trainings, he has been asking people, is there a course? Cut it to Uzana, Uganda. Is there any course you can do and graduate? And in three years, you are making over 150 million per year. After learning it for three years, three to four years, you graduate. So then, in your profession, you find out. Man. But it says network marketing is funny. Sit down and learn this stuff for six months. Start doing your business very aggressively. Build it very hard. In a year, you can be able to build that to make that money. If Julia started in 2021, we are in 2023, is making over 10 million a month. I think it's a successful thing, successful story. It's, it's a successful example. You get the point. W what are you learning in Roy? The topics you must master first, how to put a trade. Se second, how to buy it. Because when a new person comes, you must know how to put a trade. You must know how to bind the two applications. You must know how to put trade settings. If possible, learn some of the basics of trading. How to see a coin which is going to go up or, or which one which is going to go down. Learn. After learning, practice. Learn how to present the business. Some people don't They post, <laughs> I have a picture into, into a picture. What is this explain? She ran back in my inbox. She was like, my brother's asking me these questions. How am I going to answer? I'm like, why, why did you put something you don't understand? <laughs> Can you imagine? You must learn how to present. Kwanga, what if you are in a bus? You are scrolling, scrolling, you're opening your karaoke, you are seeing, it's making money. And then a guy neighboring you asks you a question. Hey, I like those things, but I don't understand them. Can you explain, please? What will you do? You'll be like, ha, ah, ah, me also I'm doing them, but I don't know how to explain them. <laughs> Maybe I connect you to my person will be like, okay, be like, leave it, leave it. You must master how to present your business. Explain it. You remember when you were in college, you went to a bookstore and bought books for the quarter, big, heavy, thick textbooks. You could hardly wait to get back to your room so you could start studying them. Do you remember how you could hardly wait until the end of the quarter to be tested on the material? While you were going to school, did anyone pay you for going? Since you went for college to four years without getting paid, and since you had no hope of retiring one to three years, then why, did, why do you get so concerned about how little you have made in your first few months in network marketing? Remember you were in a school. Is it relating? You know, these, these, these things are teaching us the reality. You know, people are very funny. You talk to someone, they have been at their job, making only 300,000 salary. They studied for long, now they are earning 300, which is not even enough to pay their bills. But after studying three, after making 300, this same person wants to join very few is not even having capital. It should be building a team. But then 
he wants to pay him a lot of money in the first three weeks. Ah, is that person fair? Because he is giving us an example. Do you remember when you were in school, you bought textbooks? When would you give it over to Abu Lagay? Do you remember those books? Then you go in your room, you study these things, you wait for, for, a, for a full term to be tested on the stuff you were learning, and you are sure if after being tested and you get good marks, you are not going to be paid, rather be given good marks. Then at, at, after graduation, you are pretty sure even if you get a job, you are not going to drive the first cars in the three months, in the three years. But we are very busy study. We didn't stop. But then when someone comes to network marketing in Royalty, they want the reverse. I have a chuba speed speed. Of course, it's very possible, but you must put the work in. You must put the work in. Some people in network marketing they get discouraged after only a few weeks. I don't think they have a right to be discouraged unless they have had at least six months of MLM school. Don't get discouraged about when your business is slow because you have learned. You have not yet learned. That's an indicator. If, if you spend a full, a full day without earning, that's an indicator there are things you don't know. If you spend a full week without earning, that's an indicator that you, there are things you don't know yet. Seek knowledge. Try letting a medical student operate on you after they have been in school for a few weeks. You'll probably be disappointed with the outcome. As it ask a doctor, lawyer, dentist, or any other profession person, how they, how long they have been practicing their profession, the answer will be figured from the time they graduated, not from the day as a college freshman. When you ask someone in MLM how long they have been in the business, they'll tell you from the day they first signed. The day they first signed up, their first tip, their first person to the business, they activate their first activated robot. You should actually keep track of the time you are in the in this business beginning from the time when you know what you are doing when you knew what we are doing that's the time you should be counting so it's giving us a clue here the only time you'll be disappointed is when you expect something and you don't get it and it doesn't happen first and foremost go to school learn be in training that's the point um, um yesterday I was with someone she told me a lot of stuff about telegram and they didn't you you know have you ever been with someone and they tell you things you didn't know totally as if you were a, a, a baby class is it a pupil or a student why do they call them pupils <laughs> They're not students, they are pupils. Ah, no. I want you to imagine a pupil. Is the pronunciation, is the pronunciation right? <laughs> a pupil in baby class. Then a teacher comes with an alphabetical order. The pupil will look at the teacher seeing these good things on the charts. And then the teacher starts, this is A. B, C, and like, yeah, the B I know, but the A no. <laughs> Those are the babies. It's a joke. My point is this. So when this girl was teaching me all this stuff, like I did know anything, I was like, eh, kumbe, never know JVD. I wish I knew this stuff, I would be making even more money. <laughs> so seek knowledge, guys. Don't be there. Don't be constant. Yeah? Don't be conservative. To be around, go be your money. Be 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 be. To you, get up. Oh, you are adding nothing. Your income will be there. Learn things every time. Okay. So he 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 gave us a clue um, of how you could be building your business. First of all, do presentations. With your with your with your sponsor, when you have someone who wants to see the business, go with him. You see how he does the presentations. Do it with him. 
the first time, the second time, the third time, the fourth time. By the fourth time, you will be learned. For me, when I do for you three presentations, the fourth one, I don't do it. We go together, you knowing that I'm the one who's going to do it. Then when we sit with the prospects, I bring out the book maybe, and then tell you, hey, do the explanation. And, and, and you get stuck, you're like, hey, he the kind of in your heart, you are like, why did you tell me? <laughs> It's a surprise. I want you to, because I've been teaching you. So when you do it very well after the after the prospect is gone, you talk about it. Now next time do this. Next time do this. I'm pretty sure the second presentation will be good. The third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the tenth, you'll be super duper. Online, when I when, when a new person joins my business and is really wants to build a network, I tell them, create a group, put your people, put everyone. I'll come and do the presentation for you. Those who are not, not interested, they will leave the group. Those who are interested, they will stay. I do the presentation, I do it the second time, I be like, that time is yours. Listen how I've been doing it, come and do it in your group. When she does it, or, her, or he does it the first time, the second time, the third time, the fourth time, will be very good. Online, you get the point. So the thing is practice. When I do the first activation with you, the second activation, someone wants to activate their robot and it's very fun, for example, I tell you, let's create a Zoom, invite me, we do it together. Now I lead, I explain the other person, now let's do this, let's go to P2P, we buy dollars, we buy, we activate, we do this, we do the trade setting, the second time we do it, the third time we do it, the fourth time it's yours. The fourth time you tell me someone is activating, I'll be like, okay, let's go. We go on the Zoom or we go live. I tell you, now proceed. Now, when he, he or she does this stuff, first, second, third time, they are good to go. Oh, I'm they can now process, they can now activate, they can buy, they can put trade settings, and they can teach their flow how to put a trade. Those are the most important things. So it, it's a matter of practicing, practice. Practice, practice, practice. So with the time, uh, we have skipped this stuff because there are so much about products, not about our, our business. So I'm ending my, present, my training by saying the meaning of a serious person in this business is, 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 is the meaning of a serious distributor in this presentation. The presentation means the training, yeah? is a distributor who has been following the commitment. They will get involved for a minimum of five to 10 hours per week for at least six months. This is the only way they can learn the business, okay? The business is about attending trainings, learn some things and then practice them, okay? Practice. I was talking to a lady, she told me, she goes on Telegram, she talks to people, she joins groups, she prospects them, she doesn't care where they come from. She told me I've signed up 10 people from Qatar, they are Arabs. So for us, we are here stuck with Ugandans who are very negative, they don't even have money, some of them. Imagine you show someone a business, and they are negative, they are disturbing you. They are Qataris who, make, who have the money. You, got, you, have, you find a guy with a Binance account, it has over 200,000 US dollars. Because for me, my mindset is rich people are open-minded, poor people are not. Because poor means passing over opportunities repeatedly. When you meet a poor person, you are like, I want to show you something. They're like, no, I don't have time. I'm going for a wedding. A rich person will stop the car. But a poor man doesn't want. A rich person first listens. So in, in most cases, when you talk to people who have money, they are listeners. They first listen to your stuff. When they are interested, they proceed. When they are not, they tell you, I, I, I may not do that. Poor person, they don't listen. My advice would be go. I don't, I'm not saying prejudge people. Don't look at the person. That's a very bad mistake. Don't do it. 
but focus on people who have money because Royal Q needs money. Someone must buy the robot 450. Anyone who can afford the robot is not a poor person. Second, after buying the robot, you need to add good capital because most people are crying in Royal Q when the market goes down, then their trades are in negative because they don't have money. Otherwise, people who are having money, they never cry about the market. When the market drops, their, their capital keeps on supporting them because they keep buying lower. And when the market pumps up, they make more profits. That's the difference. Now, which prospects would you like? These ones who don't have cash or these ones who have cash? Of course, the ones who have, but of course, show all of them. You get it? So practice, practice, practice. What's the gear? Practice, practice, practice. That's when we are going to be the best, the best networkers in RayQ. Playing with the numbers to make a point. This will be our next topic tomorrow. I think we have learned something. Have we learned something? Have we learned something? So friends, let's go and work. Uh, it will pay off. I'm telling you, it will pay off. One day I will not be doing these trainings because I will be busy doing my construction somewhere, doing my real estate or doing my farming. And I know if some of you will be on the same route. Let's make the money, let's go and change our communities. That is my statement always. Make the money, too much money, which you won't be able to eat. Those are, that's the kind of money I want you guys to make. How are you going to make that money? Build a very big team. Build a very big team. Next year we are having a bull run. It might kick start tomorrow, next year rather, but it will need to find you with a bigger rank. Be a V6, be a V5. When you are earning 60% of the income, Roku makes in your team. Hey, whenever whenever you make 10 k 6K, 6K is yours. That's the point where we want to reach, guys. Otherwise, thank you so much for attending. Unless someone has a question on what we have learned. Anyone with a question? Anyone with a question? Okay, so no one has a question. Uh, 